Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see end user daily task, SAP and no, end user roles and responsibilities. We are going to see. Before seeing, before going for the topic, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. A complete SAP and no tutorial provided in the description. Check the description. First, purchase requisition management. They create end user create purchase requisition. Change purchase requisition, display purchase requisition. And whichever the purchase requisition, which is open purchase requisition, they manage. So open purchase requisition in the sense, it has not been converted to purchase order. That is open purchase requisition. So they manage that also. Whichever the purchase requisition, open purchase requisition, they convert it to purchase order. They manage the open purchase requisition. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for open purchase requisition management. Next one. Purchase order books. We create purchase order. Convert up to ER into PO and send it to the vendor. So they create the purchase order. The transaction code ME21N. They change the purchase order. Audit, that is update the purchase order. Quantities, prices, everything they do. End users. So they do it in ME22N and ME23. And open purchase order, they manage open purchase order. So a link has been provided for the purchase order management, open purchase order management. In the description, check the description. A separate link. And the transaction code is ME2N. This is the one, ME2N. Next, one. they do goods reserve. Receive material, that is inbound. They inbound the material. Update the stock in the system. The transaction code, MIG. Check the GR down, that is material down. Verify the quantities and posting. And the transaction code is MB51. And they do the returns also, return to the supplier. The goods are not, uh, not the quality is not up to the expectation. Movement type is 120. End uses to goods issue, stock transfer order. Issue material to production, movement type. 261. Transfer posting, store to store, plant to open. Moment type 311. 313 and 315. This is another moment type. The stock can transfer and receive the stock or stock transfer. Order. So end user does this also. STO also. Next. Inventory management. Check the stock overview, MMB. Display material document, MB51. Physical inventory, they do physical inventory also. Create physical inventory in transaction code MI01, enter count in MI04 and post differences in MI07. And here, this, this movement type 311 movement type is between storage location to storage location. And 313 and 315 is two step procedure for storage location to storage location. And between the plant also they do, end users, 301. And between plant, two-step procedure is 303 and 301. This also they do, end users. And invoice verification, end users, they do invoice verification. They post the invoice in MIRO transaction. Display invoice, MIRO. They check the invoice in MIRO code, MIR code. Display menu. Display in my stock. Next. Stock reports. They take stock reports. MB52, MC.9. Federal consumption. And this is stock over MB50. And ME2N, purchase order by material. And ME2L, transaction code. POS by vendor. GR clearing report. MB5S. And coordination task. Follow up with the vendor for power. Pending deliveries, end users to coordinate with finance to invoice payment processing and communicate with the production stores for stock required. End users to all this task. These are all the tasks end users will be doing in the real time, day to day activity. All these are all day to day activities. Thank you.